Today's lesson is on the printed My Family booklet. I hope that you all have seen it, and we will try to make sure. I believe we have some at the Family History Center, and we will try and make sure there's some over there. But to get to the My Family booklet, you actually go to FamilySearch.org. I'm just on the home page. And right down here in the right-hand corner, it says Family Booklet. And here's a picture of it, too. So you just click on the Family Booklet icon. And this brings up three different options um, that you can do with this book. You can order this booklet right here. You can also pick up the booklet at the Family History at the Family His the Distribution Center, and maybe at the Family History Center. And then also our um, bishopric said that they had some too in their office. So hopefully you can also get them to order them into the ward, which is great too. And so what it does. Um, it goes through your family, your, you know, some of your ancestors, your four generations. And what the church was planning on doing with, with this booklet is to have people fill it out and send it in and use that information for their four generations. Um, they found that the, the members that filled it out didn't want to let go of it, and so they decided to do this online version that you can fill in over here on the left side. So let me show you this. Um, you just click on this Get Started once. This is something you could do or you could have you know, the youth or any members fill it out first and then get started right here and put it online. This might be a really great thing for um, older people to do. Fill it out and then you can help them with that. Might be a great youth activity. So I just clicked on Get Started, and this takes just a minute to load. And this just says, save time by importing matching ancestors from family tree. So I definitely want to do that, and then say, pick up where you left. So I want to do that too. And then it says, we'll save your information and add any mis missing data to family tree, which is really cool. So this is really connected to the family tree. So this is the very first page. It's about me, and this really corresponds with the book as well, the printed book. And this just has my name, and here on the left-hand side you can add photos. Here it says, what do I want people to learn about me? And then if you keep coming down, so I can just put information about me, a little bit like Facebook, my hobbies, interests, and favorite traditions, gender, my birth date, my birthplace. And then this next part is what's neat. So if, if you have, um, what would be fun about this is if people fill out their booklets, you can actually, you could actually scan the book, the pages, you know, and then just add them here. And so that would be actually a fun record to have with people's own handwriting. So that would be really fun to do. So you would go through and add information, and then you would click this continue button. Um, it didn't work a minute ago. But, um, and maybe there's just a lot of people on Family Search. So, oh, good, it worked this time. Okay, so then this, this shows my father. Um, and so this just shows his information. So it pulled it right from the family tree. And then this is just asking me if this is my father. So this is my father, so I would just say, yes, review this person. Um, because when copying from Family Tree, only check those items that match your booklet. So I don't know exactly because I don't have the booklet. I'm just going to say cop copy into the booklet. And so this brings up, this is great because this will actually help, help people fill it out. It brings up my dad's name. And I can enter information right here, write stories and memories about my dad. And it has the birth date, the birthplace, and it shows his death and marriage. If someone is still living, it's going to be different, so you'll have to look at that. And then again, here I can add scan pages. And so you can just go through this whole booklet. I can't remember how many pages it is. It's not, it's not really long, but you could go through and put all this information in. And so I wanted to show you that because I think it would be a great activity um, for youth to go help members in the ward or just anything like that. And then the other thing... I wanted to show you was right here it says help if you are going to go help someone it says help others preserve their their information and so I wanted to click on this help others because 
what you will need to help others is you will need either their username and helper number or if you click the full name then you need their first and last name, their birth date, and then their helper number. So let me show you really quick, in case just as a review, how you would find that helper number so that you can actually be into their account and you could actually be at your house and they could even tell you. So anyway, I wanted to show you up here. Here's my name on the right hand side at the top, Carol Hill. I click this down arrow and click the settings button. Then in the settings, it will show my helper number, which if you're a member, it is the last five digits of your membership identification record number. So see here at the very bottom, I scroll down, my helper number is 46829, and that's, and as you can see, it's my membership record number, which would also be on your Temple Recommend. So that would be a way that you could help, help others too. So I hope this helps and I hope that you'll be able to look at the book and, and see how it can help with family history and your wards and, and with those that you help. Anyway, hope you're having a great day. Thanks.